What's up, you guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian Hansen, and welcome to a brand new series called Kalimantan from a Motorcycle. This morning, I'm standing right in front of the Karimata Strait, which connects the South China Sea with the Javanese Sea. This is where Machan came in yesterday with the ferry going up through the Kapuas River into Pontiana Port. And the Kapuas River actually stretches 1146 kilometers past Pontianak into central Kalimantan, making it the world's longest island river. So now let's get out there, let's start exploring Pontianak and West Kalimantan, the eighth province on this channel. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so Machan has finally arrived here in Pontianak and it's taken about two days from Chakorta here to Pontianak with the ferry. So now Suturai has been kind enough to take Machan all the way from the port and here to my hotel, Maestro Hotel. So massive shout out to Suturai, thank you so much guys for always supporting my journey. If you guys are ever in need of towing, these are the guys you want to take care of your bike. It's very professional, it's very safe and they have my highest recommendation. And now phase two can finally begin. Thank you. Ah, let's go touring. <laughs> All right, guys. So this morning I came out uh, actually just to get some drone footage of the harbor. So I came out to this small area called Gangjar Mai. It's kind of like a, a, maybe a small village, but on beams over the water and apparently it's uh, quite a cheap area to live but it has a beautiful view over the Kapuas uh, river. I love to stop at places like this when I shoot with the drone where it's a place where it's quiet and this is the first time ever they have seen a foreigner come here so they're super excited they're super excited to see Machan and they um, every time I pull out the camera they're just going crazy you know. The plan is now that I'm gonna go to a very famous coffee shop just to try the coffee because apparently it's really, really good here in Pontianak. So let's head back into the city and get some coffee. Wow, I'm telling you guys, Machan is getting a lot of looks here in the, the traffic in Pontianak. It's crazy. <laughs> But it's also, it stands out quite a bit. It's a big bike. Oh, listen to this. <laughs> oh, nice! Good morning, guys. It's another beautiful day here in Indonesia. And this morning, I am at ASEAN Coffee. It's one of the hot spots, one of the most famous places here in the city because of its coffee. As we all know, coffee and roko is very popular here in Indonesia. And this place opened in 1959. So it's one of the oldest coffee shops in all of Pontianak. And it is just buzzing with people because it opens at 4.30 in the morning and then closes at five o'clock in the afternoon. And Mr. Asiang opens every morning himself. All right, let's go inside and check it out. Selamat pagi guys. Pagi. Legend aja, legend. Legend, yeah. Legend. Semua tahun legend. Yeah, legend. Yeah. Uh, my name is Swandi. I am 31 years old. So how does it feel to be the son of the legend? Just normal, keep a normal day, but every day is very hectic. Yeah, it's challenging for me. We enjoy the work. Uh, we love uh, people come around here and love our our food, our surfaces, yeah. Why do you think it's so busy? I think people love what we give to them, like uh, the coffee, the, the food, so they love it, they come back again. So you need to get more staff, yeah? yeah. All right, so guys, if you want to work at ASEAN Coffee, do you t will, will you take application? Yeah, we drop CP here and we will process it. Amazing. All right. Success to Lalo, yeah, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you. But what many people don't know is that ASEAN Coffee is actually a great success story. Pa ASEAN took over this place from his father, and he did not have a fancy degree, but he knew that somehow he had to make this place famous. So he had a simple yet brilliant idea. If he simply served coffee without his shirt on, 
more people would remember his place as this was not a common thing to see. And because of this idea, they now sell anything between 600 to 1000 cups of coffee every day. All right guys, and it's finally time for me to get some coffee as well. I will say it's really, really good coffee, but there is a lot of sugar in it. So if you don't like sugar, I'm really sure to say that before you order. It's one of the most sweet coffees I've ever had. The iced tea as well. So now I'm just having some cakes and coffee, hanging out with the guys here. Hey guys. And then it's time to continue the journey. I had read on their online reviews that some people wanted to take a picture with Pa Asiang, but they were a bit afraid to ask him. So before leaving, even though Pa Asiang was very, very busy, I got to ask him how he felt about people taking pictures with him. Boleh ambil selfie dengan Pak? Semua datang minta kita kasihkan, ya, kita siapkan, gitu, siap. All right guys, this afternoon I have a special surprise for you because you know I'm all about traveling and I found this local couple living here from Pontianak, YouTubers that are traveling in Indonesia in a completely different way, completely different style and some of you guys might know them as Jajago. Let's go and say hi. Hi, I'm John. Hello, I'm Brianna. And we are from Jajago Keliling Indonesia. Kami adalah pasangan yang sedang berpetualang dan kami akan membawa kamu untuk bersama kami keliling Indonesia. So, our journey starts three years ago. Yeah, we are traveling just like uh, normal people. Yeah, we are going the backpacking. Yeah, we are going to from a country, yeah, from a province or other provinces. And then we know uh, we spent a lot of costs for accommodation, consumption, and transportation. And then after two years traveling, we try to change our way of traveling with this. This is Bambang, our sweet home camper van. Awalnya itu cuma mau keliling, cuma buat have fun. Jadi YouTube itu cuma hanya sekedar hobi. Uh. We are happy to travel, and then you make a documentation, and then uh, better than you store it at your hard disk, you upload it to YouTube, right? So many people can enjoy it, uh, just like us. <laughs> I saw Bambang just eight months ago. And then when I travel with bike, I saw you. Oh, there's a crazy man also. <laughs> Traveling Indonesia, selling everything and going to jobless, homeless lifestyle. And then I see, will that man last? Maybe three content and then he will quit. I say that. But you keep going and then say, wow, it's good also. And then we try to, you know, we bought a used bike and then we travel with bike in Nusa Tenggara Barat, in Sumbawa. We enjoy it. But, you know, when you're traveling with uh, a girl, you need something to be uh, comfortable yeah, and safe and secure. That's why I want to change my car. So, like it or not, your Turanga is inspiring the Baumbang. Wow, that's <laughs> amazing. So there's a big uh, thing that quite not good when you travel in camper van in Indonesia. Because uh, our road here, infrastructure, it's not quite good, yeah. So uh, we have a small roads, and then in Indonesia, you are so hard to find a place to sleep. Maybe you can park anywhere, but it's not quite safe. So we we have a uh, we have to research for place for us to be safe when we're sleeping, comfortably and securely. <laughs> That's why we often sleep at a police station. So the biggest expense uh, we first is of course building this camper van. It costs around 134 million for the modification only without the car. So with the car we can cost around 200 or 300. And then after this spending, it's quite cheap. We only pay for fuel. We don't have to pay when we sleep. We don't have to pay when we uh, eating outside because we can cook at this and for now I can say for around one month I spent just only five millions for two people and we can travel everywhere. So what is your dream? <laughs> so what is your dream? What's your you... dream Sayang? Yeah. My dream I want to travel traveling around the world. Uh, we want to explore yes, all I the want to explore the 
Australian, okay. American, Eropa, Canada, uh, Eropa, everywhere. Yes, everywhere. That's also my dream. Semangat ya. Amin. Amin. Semangat. <laughs> and then don't go anywhere because after this we will go into interview Christian Hansen and we will see behind the story untold from Christian Hansen. <laughs> that was a good one. So guys, if you want to learn more about the uh, Jajago Keliling Indonesia, yeah. I'll make sure to put a link down below. Check them out, support them, and yeah, guys, terima kasih. Yeah, thank you. Have a nice trip, yeah. <laughs> good morning, guys. It's another beautiful day here in Indonesia, and this morning, Machan and myself, we are on our way down to the ocean because here off the coast of Pontianak, there is a place that you can only find one place in the world and that's here close to Pontianak so let's go and check it out and see what it's all about and we have made it to the port now I just have to find a guy with a boat who wants to take me out in the middle of the ocean all right guys so I found a captain and after a bit of negotiation we agreed to pay 250,000 for him to take me out on the boat, just by myself. He originally said 400,000, but I said, no, no, no. I heard about someone paying 250, so I'll pay 250. And Machan is parked right over here. Let me just quickly show you. And all the guys over there, they said, don't worry, it's safe. So hopefully Machan will still be there when I get back. All right, so now we're gonna take the boat. We're gonna go out to, it's not even an island. It's something out on the water that you can only find here. Siap, Pak. Siap. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let's go. Duduk atas atau bawah? Uh, atas, atas. Atas, okay. Siapa namanya? Uh, Pak Mutar. Ha? Huh? Pak Mutar. Mutar. Ah. Ah, salam. Kenal saya Chris ya. Chris. Yeah. Okay. 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 Selamat berkunjung, Chris. Okay, terima kasih, Pak. So, this is the first time I'm actually leaving mainland of Kalimantan. And I'm feeling a bit iffy, you know, about Machan being there all by himself with a lot of people I don't know. But again, you know, I have to believe in the Indonesian people. I haven't had any problems before with uh, when I was riding with Duranga. So now we're going to sail out for about 20 minutes because the place we're going right now is supposed to be the symbol of why the people here of Kalimantan are so open and acceptance to all religions. Let's go and check it out. The Xiaoyi Shen Tang Temple was built in the late 60s and is presumably the world's only floating temple in the middle of the sea. Because presumably 60% of the locals living around Kakab River are of Chinese descent, hence the Chinese name. This Buddhist temple was built by locals by transporting the materials with smaller boats from the mainland. The inside was built using ironwood, one of the hardest and heaviest type of wood in the world. And today, it has become a tourist spot mostly known by local tourists. A local legend, Pa Slamid, guards this place and have done so for quite some time. Siapa namanya, Pak? Pak Slamid. Uh, saya dari itu Benteng Laut, Sungai Kakap. Uh, ah yeah. ya, saya kerja ini lama dah, sudah ada sekitar 40 tahun. Kerja ini saya di Pekong ni. Dulu saya digaji sebulan tu cuma 400. Jadi sekarang itu enggak dikaji sekarang. Cuma buka pintu, jaga orang sembahyang. Nah, itu dapat lampau, itu ya kerja saya. Dan ada lain gitu. Nah, itu. Hmm, itu sambil, sambil ngambai saya. Saya kan punya ambai di butik sana tuh, itu. 1 2 3. Malam saya ngambai, siang jaga pekong. Nah, gitu. Iya. Yeah. Kalau saya boleh tanya, Pak. Eh, agama apa? Islam. Islam. Saya agama Islam. Tapi ini Buddhist temple ya? Iya, tidak masalah sih sama ya. Islam, Cina, Dayak pun sama ya. Tujuannya satu, cuma Tuhan satu. Sama aja, cuma sembahyangnya lain-lain. Nah gitu ya. Terima kasih banyak ya. Ah iya, sama-sama. <laughs> oh, matur suun. Iya, monggo. Karena oh, ya. monggo. Karena ya. asli dari Jawa. Asli dari Jawa, Jawa. Timur, Majang. <laughs> Terima kasih ya, Pak. Ya. We are from the Indonesian Navy, from Lantamal 12, Pontianak. Jangan lupa, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, good. Good. <laughs>
Thank you so much guys. Awas lo gak dimuat lo. Dengar gua unscrap buat unfollow nanti ya. Kita follow langsung kita follow nanti. Aku follow nanti. Ah. So guys come to Shaoyi Shantang Temple. Shaoyi Shantang Floating Temple in Sungai Kakap, West Borneo, Indonesia. With Christian Hansen. Yes. Good job. Good job. You know guys, it had taken a lot longer than I expected preparing everything with the new bike in Jakarta after coming back from Sumatra. So being back to the road life, now in Kalimantan, I could feel that it would take a bit of readjusting again. And if there's one thing that can fix just that, it's simply getting back on the bike and getting back out on the roads. So that's what I did. Welcome to the jungle, baby! Yeah. Oh, oh, big bump. Oh, again! Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, and that's gonna be it for this episode here from Pontianak. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of my Kalimantan from a motorcycle series. So it's actually my first time with Machan, fully loaded, and he's handling it fantastic. So now we've made it here to Katulistiwa Park in West Kalimantan that marks the equator line that runs all the way through Kalimantan. So if you're looking to get a bike like Machan or Turanga, then head over to Pro Bike in Jakarta. They can sort you out. I'll put a link for their contact down below. And stay tuned because in about five minutes, Machan and I will be heading into the western part of Kalimantan to hopefully find some orangutans, some Dayak tribes, and some more good people and stories. So thank you guys for watching our first episode here from Kalimantan. We will see you in the next one. And until next time, Machan, say goodbye. Bye, guys. <laughs>